Hello and good evening. My name is John, and we're here playing the Nightmare Cooperative as part of my Steam cleaning series. I go through every game in my Steam library eventually, and then arbitrarily rate and review them after just a wee bit of playtime. Now, I am not familiar with this game because I play these games blind, but based on the fact that this guy's got a bow, this guy's got a sword, and this one has a staff, I'm guessing this is something fantasy-based. So why don't we hit play and see what this is. Looks like you have not played before. Would you like the tutorial? No. Tutorials are for jerks. All right. Ninja moves through enemies, 13th generation martial arts practice, 14th way at home, crease, heals, feet. Alright. Alright. Oh, I moved them both. Interesting. Alright, so he took damage. So it looks like as I move around, enemies and stuff uh, pop up. No! Everybody died. Oh, I'm still a ninja. Uh-huh. What are these? One heart after first kill every floor. What's this? One extra math help, one fewer max potions. All right. Oh, okay. I can have one person picked up with this team. Killed that one. No! Um, alright, so there's gotta be a key to use these potions. Keeping multiple teams alive is really tricky. Okay, I can use a potion to do my ability to jump. It's, there we go. Space bar. I'm in the ice area. Wants to move like you. These guys are easy enough to kill. No! Alright, what's this? Leaving an ice trail. What does this guy do? Puppy dog, but we're a dog. Oh no! Oh no! Alright, so it's a bit of a puzzle game. Controlling multiple units is really weird. Go to menu, play. Oh, can I not run the tutorial again? Options. Play tutorial. Alright, let's do this. Nightmare Quadra may have come before, may follow the village. So use arrow keys to move, but made a monster hurt them, but also hurt you. Collect hearts to survive. Stairs to get back to the next stage. There's no going back. Where are your health? You can see current. Space bar to use my power. Boop. Alright. 
So with one hero, I understand. It's kind of like a roguelike puzzler. Um, that'll make enemies appear opening chests. Got it. Can I just focus on making one enemy or one player move? Or you? Okay, so hazards hurt everything, which is nice. I don't know if I agree with the uh, choice to make all the enemy, all the player characters move at the same time. I feel like I'm better off if I. What does this do? This does. Bump attack instantly kills monster for stun each level only. All right. It's tough to... I just have to sacrifice certain ones. So now I have one free kill, which seems handy. Oh, okay. That's how I get the... The crown. These guys are easy to kill. Let's get this guy put away. Grab that. Grab that. Alright, we're heading out. with those guys. What the gold is for? Like they say eight eggs and 14 eggs and stuff like that, but. So this is not the order in which you unlock these. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep, into that lava. I like the puzzling of it, but... Discoveries? Now these are... Items and... Enemies. Oh, that's all the enemies. So what's your power? Shoots arrow, alright. Attacks diagonally at a distance. What do boots do? Attack some acid and lava. So the mage can attack that one, so if I hit spacebar, I kill him. 
Space bar. Space bar. Space bar. A lot of potions. Oh, well, Mage has to take that hit. All right. Well. Yeah, something just feels a little off. Um, so what does this person do? Hits monsters twice. Oh. At the kill, that healed the mage. that. Alright, can I... Nope. Should've just left, but I was trying to see if I could milk this for some more stuff. Well, that's not good. Alright, open that chest. There's definitely something here about um, worth mentioning for the style of game where you're moving characters around and doing the roguelike stuff, but just moving multiple characters just feels bad. Like, obviously this is more of a puzzle game than I'm giving it credit for. He's dead, so back to one. So now I can pick all this stuff up. Is it easier to do Stu One? Oh, I should have moved that other direction. Nope, I'm dead. Yeah, I... There's also no, like, unlocks. Like, I'm collecting gold, but I don't unlock anything, right? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing else to it. Yeah, this has been the Nightmare Cooperative. Um, I I like the look, the the kind of, I mean, I'm gonna call it paper crafty. Let's take a look here, just to make sure I'm not speaking out on my butt here. But it does remind me of paper craft kind of stuff for characters like that. Um, I don't like it because it's too hard to control multiple characters at once, and they really put a lot of enemies out there. So in the end, it feels like I'm overwhelmed and I just can't keep more than two characters alive for very long. Uh, the Special powers do make the the characters unique, but just something about it doesn't click for me. So this has been the Nightmare Cooperative. Meh, good try. Just not good enough for me. Cheers.